I'm absolutely calm about this situation because everything was quite predictable. So, in this situation, when we are aware and constantly monitoring the news, everything can be predicted. Nothing has changed. No worries, nothing. I knew that our government would sort everything out. I look at things calmly and confidently. I didn't know what the result would be, but I was sure the outcome would definitely be positive. Why? Because there's no other option. I think some changes will come, both radical and more pinpointed changes. But they will happen, of course, because you have to react somehow to all of this. If you don't, this might happen again, or it might not. Everyone is speculating. Everyone is confused. We need to understand exactly what is going on. We need someone to explain to us what is going on exactly. I'm nervous, yes. Because the situation was unclear, I was worried. But we didn't lose hope that the situation would get back on track. Russia's National Anti-Terrorism Committee said the situation in the country was stable. And Moscow's mayor, Sergei Sobyanin, said he was cancelling a counter-terrorism regime imposed in the capital. Wagner mercenaries fighting in Ukraine who crossed into Russia on Saturday halted their advance on Moscow, withdrew from the southern Russian city of Rostov and headed back to their bases in the evening under an amnesty guaranteeing them safety. Russian mercenary leader Yevgeny Prigozhin, who had demanded that Russia's defence minister and the army's top general be handed over to him, would move to Belarus under the deal mediated by Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko. Prigozhin, who has accused both men of gross incompetence and corruption, said he wanted to restore justice. Earlier today, Prigozhin said that a one-day mutiny by his Wagner force had been intended not to overthrow Russia's government, but to register a protest over what he said was its ineffectual conduct of the conflict in Ukraine. None of the Wagner group fighters was forced to take part in this march. Everybody knew its final goal. The goal of the march was to avoid destruction of the Wagner PMC and bring to responsibility those persons whose unprofessional actions caused a huge number of mistakes during the special military operation. We stopped the moment when the first assault detachment, which came to within 200 kilometers of Moscow, deployed its artillery, did re reconnaissance of the area, and it became obvious that a lot of blood would be shed at that moment. Therefore, we felt that demonstrating what we were going to do was enough, and our decision to turn around was based on two important factors. The first factor is that we did not want to shed Russian blood. The second factor is that we were registering our protest and not seeking to overthrow the government of the country. In the audio recording, Prigozhin did not address any of the questions still surrounding the agreement brokered by Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko that brought the mutiny to an end. The Kremlin said on Saturday that the deal had included dropping a criminal case against Prigozhin and his moving to Belarus. Prigozhin, who was last seen in public being driven in a sport utility vehicle out of Rostov-on-Don on Saturday evening, did not say where he was when he recorded his statement.